Uh, na usikani unarudi kwangu sababu right now ni ule wakati wa dondoo mtazamaji ni ule wakati wa kukufahamisha mengi ambayo umejili na leo tumejumuika na jamaa mbaya sasa hivi ana trend kwenye mitandao ya kijamii baada ya Calligraph Jones kuweza kumpost na <laughs> na kumwambia kwamba wapatane itakuwa ni moto na sisi tunapata exclusive ya kwanza hapa naye na tunaambia kama watapatana watafanya interview ama inakuwaje the one and only baddest only like right now na mzungumzie presenter Ali inakuwaje mzee baba refresh kabisa rewind <laughs> come back sir <laughs> 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 miaka mitano iliyopita miaka mitano iliyopita yeah, that's right yeah, yeah. yeah. tulikuwa tunafanya hicho kitu hapo pamoja lakini lakini kumisa. lakini, <laughs> lakini, <laughs> lakini miaka mingi iliyopita mhm ndo nakumbuka ulikuwa unamwaga machozi ukinipa Yeah, Mike nikikupa mic hapo. Huyu mwaga machozi. Ipo ipo YouTube. Ipo YouTube. Wow. Yeah, alikuwa emotional sana. Yeah, alikuwa emotional sana. Yeah. Uh -huh. Leo nimeishi kukipenda hiki kipindi. Nimekuwa yeah. nikifuatilia sana. Yeah. So um, I'm good to I'm, I'm happy to be back home. Yeah. At least tupige story kidogo. So unajua imekuwaje? Leo tumekutana na Lilikuwa tulikuwa wapi? Leo tumekuwa tulikuwa Lavington pale na nani nani Otel Brown alikuwa anazinduliwa kama balozi wa kampuni yeah. fulani ambayo tutabanya dini ya kidogo kwa sababu nilipe matangazo lakini so so tuko na somba so tukakuja tuka have lunch alafu baadaye tukasema somba na somba tuko tukafanya kitu leo yeah. since is a monday na yeah ndio imefika hapa so mm -hmm. kalundu yes. wewe tuambie nini kimefanyika leo tunaifanya kitu tofauti leo tunawaambia wote wapundani mm -hmm. yeah. kabisa kabisa uh -huh. presenter ali karibu tena sana eh tuanzie in Tanzania now yeah. this weekend uh -huh. Juma Jukes mm. na Huda Mondo wamekuwa tu mahaba 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 now uh -huh. uh, Huda alikuwa ameweka Instagram akasema kuna kitu alikuwa anataka kutolewa na Juma Jukes akasema anaenda Tanzania kufanyiwa hiyo kitu mm -hmm. and then yeah. ndio akaingia kwenye airport tunaona kwenye airport mm. wa mabusu mabusu left right and center mm. maba ni uwe ehe wameenda mm -hmm. kwenye sitting room ya ya, uh, ya Juma Jukes anasema mm -hmm. oh baby sijui nini <coughs> tunaona tu ma, mabusu mabusu mm. wameenda kwenye party ni mabusu tu mm. naona um, ma fans wanasema okay. ni kama Juma Jukes alikuwa anataka ku test mm -hmm. lipstick ya Huda mm -hmm. ina ina testaje mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the same time wanasema ni marafiki so sijui hizi mabusu 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 and then we was like friends we are only friends uh -huh. mimi mnaona ni nini ah ni, ni rahisi sana kwa mtu ambaye ana jicho la burudani it's very easy to know what, what exactly is happening mm -hmm. huda alikuwa kwenye video ya jokes yes na wali eh, walipigana mabusu mm -hmm. alikuja kama vixen mm -hmm. lakini kitu ambacho hawakujua ni kwamba akiwa kama vixen italeta ule mvuto fulani ile upepo fulani so right now wameona kuna huo upepo mm -hmm. wanasema kama vipi si tuitumie hii kusukuma mm -hmm. project yetu mm -hmm. and that's what's happening yeah na ukiangalia pia wameanzia kutoka way back kuna <laughs> time walitutupia mapicha picha kwenye farasi and stuff like that wakati wanafanya shoot ya hiyo video mm -hmm. alafu baadaye wakuja wakachukua ukimi fulani alafu baadaye jukes nakumbuka kuna wakati nimempokea airport mm -hmm. aka angamuza kusuda akasema tu ni mshikaji ni stuff like that akasema kuna zaidi ya hicho mm -hmm. lakini baadaye tumeona denda zinashuka zina, zina na vitu kama vile mm -hmm. lakini mwisho siku unajua busu wa ni sign ya kitu fulani na hata kwenye kwenye vitabu vya dini tumeona kwamba busu ni sign of petrol <laughs> so mwisho siku mm -hmm. tutarejea petrol na tutarejea vilio kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kama ilivyo ada jukes kulia na kuacha na ah jamani yani kiki zinaenda <laughs> hadi mali mnabusiana kwa sababu pipo, kama pipo, pipo hawa wawili wako na wapenzi watakuwa like hawa wapenzi watakuwa wame, wame agree that ni sawa endeni mkabusiane no, as long as the money is coming hizi katokea kwamba mtu ana mpenzi alafu akukubali kufanya kitu kama chini ipo 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 si movies ipo kama no uh, you, you can do that ali wewe unaweza kufanya hivyo hizi ni kama movies just acting no mimi si hisi kama kuna utofauti na ah, kuna, kuna uzito kuna uzito na sababu ndo ndo hii ni showbiz no hata kama ni showbiz lakini hata kama ni showbiz show business yeah. no hata kama ni showbiz inahitaji wote mbona rongumu sana ushaelewa kwa rongumu eh inahitaji rongumu sana wewe unamwona mtu anamjia denda mtu mbaya wewe pale pale unaza mseme wewe hauwezi ukakubali ki wewe Mm -hmm. Kimimi yeah, na, na, na wengi na wengi ambao wanazungumzia sababu ambao nimekaa nao nikazungumza nao <laughs> lakini sasa kuna watu ambao wanasema oya kama hii kitu inatupa hela mbona tusifanye mwisho wa siku mwisho wa siku wewe kwa mfano uko pale nyumbani mm. na bibi wako kwa mm. mfano yeah. afu uone kama tunahitaji rent hapa yeah. <laughs> Afa kimbusu mtieska yeah. kipindi kipindi tu tutapata rent utafanyaje yeah. lakini tutafuta mwafaka kuna mwafaka wa kila kitu kwa <laughs> maana kuna kuna maana kuna a kuna a kuna b hey, sikia tieska yeah. personally season come date actor yeah. ah mm. tieska anasema yeah. personally yeah. hawezi akamdate yeah. actor lakini unapata squeeze kwa mfano kama nani anaitwa nani 
nikimtuma na anaitwa na bridge ni bridge shigadi hao alisema kwamba kwenye scenes za, za, za kutomasa and stuff ama yeah. kujana dena zile hao hapo hizo chenelea hadi hao hapo out hizo yeah. so mshosi kuna maana anakuambia kuna mwafaka wa vitu fulani ila kuna mpunga utapewa <laughs> mwana utapiga yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> utapiga tu kibinafsi mimi mm-hmm. no i can do that ni bora hiyo ile ikae kando yeah. lakini kwenye kiubinadamu kabisa tuchukue real tuache kuzungumza sababu tunazungumza kwenye kwenye showbiz mm-hmm. lakini kiwalisia sasa kiubinadamu kwa mtu ambaye unampenda kiukweli kwa mtu ambaye unafanyaga hizi ni binadamu kwa mtu ambaye unampenda kwenye roho yako kabisa kweli kiukweli ushanelewa sema umependa romana sana itakuumiza sana sema umependa romana eh eh umependa kweli romana lakini sawa ila tuna ila tunaelewa sawa sawa mimi na na agree na 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 agree sana na presenter ali ni ku act na at the end of the day kama kuna pesa Why not? Let's move on pia huko Tanzania bado <laughs> Babu Tale. Aha, Babu Tale mm. ambaye sijui Babu Tale bado ni um, ni manager wa Diamond Platinums mtakuwa mkituambia but si unajua akienda pia pa parliament pia lazima atetee wanamziki watu in the entertainment industry WCB na tumeona Diamond Platinums kuna baadhi ya nyimbo zake zimekuwa banned mm. in Tanzania mm-hmm. uh, latest ikiwa mtasubiri sana nao mm-hmm. ameenda kwenye parliament akasema mm. kuna nyimbo ambazo zinafaa ku, kukuwa banned lakini yani ni kama the organizations zenye mm. ziko involved zina ban other songs mm. na amepea na an example of Mario song ambayo mm. ni mama Amina Ah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. ni, tu mm-hmm. na 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 umezungumzia najua mshoo siku babu tala kizungumza bado mm-hmm. uh, inamuumiza yeye kama management ya Diamond. Lakini yeah. mimi nitawanukuu wao kwenye nyimbo yao waliwahi kusema. Hiyo mm-hmm. ni way back ni miaka mingi sana tukihesabu. Mm-hmm. Alisema kwamba kweli mti mwenye matunda aogopi kupigwa mawe. Mm-hmm. So sijui mbona wanalalamika. Tari wao wanajua Lazi, na matunda. Lazima basi lazima mawe. Una love kulalamika. Ila mimi mm-hmm. niseme hivi tu. Mm-hmm wasafi right now wanafanya vizuri and everyone yeah. knows that yeah. lakini wame, wamejitokeza kama watu ambao they becoming cry babies yeah. so mara ya kwanza tunaona wasafi wanalalamika mm-hmm. mbona wasanii wengine wakifungiwa huwa hawalalamiki as a group yeah. inafika point whereby kwa sababu mimi ndo head boy mm-hmm. wa shule sifai kuchapo you understand that mm-hmm. that point yeah. Yeah. na nikiona mtoto mdogo hajachapo analalamika it doesn't make sense yeah. kwa hiyo wasafi wamekuja wakawa wakubwa wakubali kukosolewa. Yeah true. Sijui kama unanielewa. Na kuelewa. Sababu wewe ukiangalia way back kuna wakati Rosaria amefungiwa, ame, 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 ame unaelewa yeah, kuna wakati Tego amefungiwa, Jijimani amefungiwa na so, so, so mara ya kwanza. But, but no, na, Lakini ujue ukiwa unajua acha nikwambie Kalundu. Mm-hmm. Wewe unaweza kuzungumza kitu hapa sasa hivi kawa big deal sawa? Mm-hmm. Lakini kuna mtu anaweza kutokea tu mtu wa kawaida sana tukamleta kazungumza yes. siwe issue. Yeah. Kwa nini? Sababu wewe una comment position fulani ndio maana hata Hicha nileta kidini kidogo. Mm-hmm. Uh, ukiwa we ni mtu wa dini sana tuseme kwa mfano ni mkristo unaenda kanisani and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Ukionekana unafanya vitu vinakavya kidunia sana unamulikwa sana unamwanga mingi. Eh. Kwa nini anafanya hivyo ni mtu wachacha na tushaga wachache? Mm-hmm. Lakini huyu mwingine amefanya tu nikiu binadamu watu wamefanya hivyo ni vijana ambao wanapitia stage moja sawa? Mm-hmm. Lakini tofauti ni kwamba huyu yuko same flani yuko same mwana. Ana nafasi tofauti kwenye jamii. Yeah. And then pia mimi sikuisi kama ni kitu cha ma, cha maana ama cha msingi mm-hmm. eh, yeye kama mtu ambaye Uh, ako kwenye management ya wasafi kuileta ile Babu issue pale kwa sababu that is bringing your own personal yeah. issues mm-hmm. na hisi kama ingekuwa haki angekuwa anazungumzia msanii kama ni wa mitego yeah. na apeane the same example ya Mario inge mm-hmm. make sense to me lakini ukija useme kwamba ni kama sasa hivi wewe umepewa kazi mm-hmm. eh, u, usimamie sehemu fulani lakini wewe una una push sana agenda za nyumbani tu. Mbona mnafungia diamond? Mbona mnafanyia hivi wasafi? Wewe umeitwa pale u represent watu tofauti lakini unaenda pale kuleta issue za nyumbani. Alafu kumbuka pia diamond ni msanii ambaye amekuwa kwenye generation nyingi. Amekuwa kwenye generation yake yeye kama diamond na kina Likiba yeah. na kina Omi Dimples. Uh-huh. Kumekuja generation ya kina Harmonize amekuepo. Yeah. Kumekuja generation ya kina Rayvanny amekuepo. Uh-huh. Kumekuja generation ya kina Mboso amekuepo. Sasa hivi kuna generation ya kina Mario, kina Zuchu nani? Bado yupo. So unajua yeye ni kigezo na yeye ni, ni, ni mwelekezo wa wasanii ambao wanamtumia. Yeah, so ukiangalia kina Mario vichapo vivi vikali kwa ni sawa ni generation mpya. Mwisho mm. siku pia itafika wakati wao. Yeah. Ila hiyo so, tuseme yeah. kimimi na hisi hiyo ni kuzungumzia tu issue ya yeye mm-hmm. ku address issue ya wasafi. Mm-hmm. Lakini now when it comes to hiyo issue ya mtasubiri na kufungiwa mm-hmm. 
personally siko na haja ya kuifungia yeah and uh, no, for me i disagree with the both of you kwa sababu unaona a lot of uh, um, yani fingers in a point at wcb when it comes to songs being banned na kama ni kuhusu moral moral inaitwa je kwa Kiswahili ni damu yeah. or whatever um <laughs> madili, feel, madili, yeah. madili mm. na feel there are a lot of other songs in bongo flavor zenye pia hizo ukiangalia uko like he pia inafaa kufungiwa kama hii ilifungiwa hii nayo inafaa kufungiwa ndio maana so, tumesema yeah. ni tochi na mulika wapi mm-hmm. so msho siku ushanielewa kingine yeah. kipi kimetrend aha mm. tuki move on tuongee kuhusu kajala na harmonize oh <laughs> my goodness kajala <laughs> na harmonize wamekuwa mm. uh, on a lot of things and this time round uh dam uh hamis uh yeah, nice alikuwa ameka mm. whole long post alert mm. uh na tumeona pia kuna video mm. ya allegedly kajala nguo za kajala zikiwa kwa closet ya harmonize na mm-hmm. harmonize eh hey, iko on air pale na harmonize aliyeka hiyo on insta on instagram kumaanisha that kajala has moved in with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> na sasa for a very long time amekuwa akiomba msamaha, atujui kama already walikuwa in good terms ni kiki, what was happening, but says you know kind of things are moving fast. Mara nani ndio CEO wa wa Konde Gang Management, mara ame move in. There's a lot of things moving fast. Ama nyinyi mnaona aje? Uh, unajua mimi ukiangalia hata kuna interview niliyowe kuambia way back nitazama Ibra. Mm-hmm. Uh, hii ni, 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 ni mwezi kadhaa au wiki kadhaa nyuma kabla Monaise wake rasmi kwamba wamesamehewa. Mm-hmm. Ibra alisema kwamba anaona Monaise na, na Kajala pamoja. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lakini yeye yeah, yuko close na wao kivyo. So hiyo hiyo ni biashara yake ni maisha yake personal kama boss wake. Mm-hmm. Akasema anaona kama wako vizuri ndio baadaye tukuja tukona kweli chimbo limechimbuka mm-hmm. na watu kweli wamesamehewa na kweli mapenzi yametaradadi anaoga moto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unajua mm-hmm. haya mapenzi mm-hmm. awezaji ukajua leo ya kesho yako vipi mm-hmm. leo utaona wameko sana sana mm-hmm. mpaka ukatamani kumwendea umwambie eh naona amko pamoja naomba <laughs> lakini kesho <laughs> kwa hiyo mimi nahisi tu ni issue ya ni, ni mambo ya mapenzi kuna mm-hmm. kupendana leo kuna kukosana kesho mm-hmm. kuna kurudiana it's just something ambayo iko easy ila kimimi sijaisi kama ni ni vizuri kwa harmonize mm-hmm. alivyoonyesha eh, weakness yake kila everyone knows right now kwamba akitaka kumumiza harmonize mm. aguse kajana ali yeah. unakosea kidogo ukisema harmonize na force me the king of simp harmonize <laughs> jamani the, the king, king of, of simp. simping yani yani tukimzungumzia angalia tumeongezea jina lake ambalo anafaa hata tupe meaning ya simp ni nini jamani simp sana wakuelewa hata dictionary zipo google zipo watu waangalie ila ana simp sana lakini mwisho siku pia mapenzi kama ali alikuwa anasema mapenzi ni kama ni kama watoto wadogo watu wanao wapendana kama watoto wadogo mm-hmm. mtoto atacheza sasa hivi tuseme sisi ni watoto tutakosana tunaenda kwa, kwa baba nikamwambia yeah. amenikosea ukamchapa uh-huh. ukamwambia siku pamoja dakika za ukasubta na watu wako pamoja yeah. Yeah. so mapenzi ni kikozi na hayafichiki yeah. mm-hmm. tutashim tu wanaopendana na tuwaache wa maamuzi yao yao utashangaa yeah. yeah. tu kesho mm-hmm. utashangaa sana kesho i mean usishangae sana kesho ukiona harmonize amemtema kajala mm. na akapata mzungu mwingine so jambo geni mm. Mm. anything can happen yeah wewe yeah. usione tarajia chochote chini ya juu alafu kawaida tu kupost post vi, vi kupostiana postiana ati vinguo nini kawaida mm. sana mm. si issue ile si issue kubwa hili what next yeah. hivi <laughs> tunakaa ni kama mmezoea mmezoea yeah. kuwa na mitandao tumezoea kuwa na kwenye mitandao mmezoea pia kufanya but anyway sisi ni akina nani let's come to kenya na tuongee kuhusu madam boss ako there over the weekend ali launch an album inaitwa na kuna watu wengi wana confuse wengi wanasema ni ep but ni album inaitwa um I call that the lioness. Mm-hmm. Aha. And then Pia me launch a book in it to call the quotes. Mm-hmm. Uh, kwenye kitabu anasema <laughs> ni uh, anasema ni, ni anaongea kuhusu story yake kwenye eh, kitabu ya Akothe oh. Quotes. Mm. Na sijui kama nyinyi um, nyinyi siku waona nilikuwa kwenye kwenye album launch mm. ilikuwa at one of the popular uh, you know hotels in the city mm. and it was nice kulikuwa na kina bahati, mm-hmm. kulikuwa na the cabs, mm. kulikuwa na betikialo, mm. kulikuwa na watu wengi tu. Mm-hmm. Na the, the album was amazing, the launch was very nice. But sijui wambea, can business na uh, presenter Ali. Mm. Sijui kwa nini hamuongei kuhusu hii album. Sasa hizi inafaa kuwa buzzing, yani the talk of town. No, no, lakini ninaamini ndio maana tuko hapa ndio maana tunaizungumzia yeah, umi. Leta ndio tuizungumzie. Yaani sija sija bado. Kwanza, kwanza mm-hmm. ni sema hivi. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now msanii yote ambaye ana 
kufanya kutoa album ama tayari shatoa album mm -hmm. they doing the right thing sababu right now we are in a digital age ambapo ukitoa mm -hmm. album ni rahisi sana na jisukuma yenyewe kila mtu yuko kwenye simu mm -hmm. kwa hivyo kwa hiyo hongera ile ya pili sijaelewa mm -hmm. kitabu cha maisha yako unahitaji <laughs> akote quote yes Yaani yaani yako na reason yake kwa sababu um, kwanza mimi sikupata opportunity ya kumuuliza kwa nini kwa sababu mm. event ilienda sana na mimi nilikuwa usingizi usingizi. Unaelewa mastaa mimi hivyo na kama hivyo. Kawaida yenu. So sikupata the opportunity kumuuliza kitabu mm. inaitwa Ako the quotes lakini mm. ni si quotes ni a, a book about your life. Hivi nikuulize wewe. Mm -hmm. Unahisi kwenye maisha ya Kothe achana na hela zake. Mm -hmm. Kwenye maisha ya Kothe mm -hmm. kuna kitu ambacho kina kuinspire Eh, eh. Kama nini? Kama kukuwa independent black woman. Kukuwa independent black woman. Ndio mm unaweza -hmm. kukuwa independent alafu ikawa independent kweli. Mm -hmm. Alafu unaweza kukuwa independent. Msini mm -hmm. miss quote. Alafu kama umezaa na wanaume wengi ambao wanakutumia wana hela. Jamani. Na si hiyo ndo ndo. Hiyo so independent. Umenipata nikiwa independent wewe kazi yako tu ni ku provide for your child and What's the meaning of independence? Independence inamaanisha nina pesa yangu si anafanya muziki akona pesa yake. Akona foundation, akona akona safari. Ndio wakati tunaendelea kanuni nikuulize tu. So wewe ukiwa uko sawa na maisha yako ni yako lakini unaela wewe uko independent. Kwa hiyo Ati niko nani? Ukiwa upo, mm -hmm. sawa, una, una, una mtu anakupenda, anakutuza, anakana kila kitu. Mm -hmm. Lakini unaela, kwa hiyo ukiwa upo independent. Na <laughs> ume sema independent. To confuse, yeah. to confuse kukua single na kukua independent. Na kukua independent. Eh. Sema tu labda umependa amekuwa single for long. Mimi sasa hivi mimi ni very independent, right? Kwa hivyo nikipata mwana ume. Atuwezi tukajua. Ni, ah, ah, <laughs> but nikipata mwanaume mm -hmm. akona hela zake mm -hmm. na anaweza ni spoiler ni peleke duwe ni fanya bado mimi nipata mimi Apana. nikiwa very much independent Ingi, na nipeleke mbona usijipeleke hizo sehemu kwa hivyo kwa sababu <laughs> unachiki kwa sababu whether niko na yeye sina yeye mm -hmm. i am still i can live the life that i want but mbona umetaja unajua kitaja mtu akitaja kama ni kama kitu ambacho hana ndio unatajaga kama kama ningepata milioni ningepata gari sijui na nini na nini hivyo lakini kama ungekuwa unacho ungekuwa unaishi maisha yako kwa pole ila then of the day mean it's a, it's a good thing amefanya yeah. yeah. to launch the whole project ku launch kitabu kuzindua hicho kitabu kwa sababu hatujaona wasanii wakifanya hivyo tumeona wasanii tu wakizindua sijui merchandise nini na nini yeah, yeah. kwa hiyo mimi it's, it's a brilliant it's move yeah, yeah naona tu mtu amezungumza hapa Twitter anaitwa Simple Boni juu anasema ako they can't and will never be our kids role model the, uh, mm -hmm. e, kuna maneno wamesema mazito siwezi kasema yana lakini anasema understand she got money which may may be when followed well are not clean but this does not mean her brain is worth what she got mm -hmm. ah. yeah. yeah so well, next what next What's anyway to, to the uganda mm. and we have to big up mm. shiba karungi mm -hmm. the richest mm. kwa sababu ame already ameshasema her concert mm. will be uh, in december mm -hmm. By now to July, June, mm -hmm. <laughs> to June. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see the poster, Amesema, her concert will be on the, on the 9th of December mm. this year. Kwa hivyo, kama wewe, unetaka kuenda kuona Shiba, saizi anza kusave. Mm -hmm. Uganda ni hapa tu. Nishinga. Mm -hmm. Kwa, ah, kwa kwenda, ah? Kwenda, ah? Kingilio Kingilio atatuambia tu but mm. she's just told us mm. uh, atakuwa na na concert itakuwa December and you know what kama uko Kenya just save na, wanangu <laughs> ja, jaribu mfike na mimi sivi tu vya kusema yani ni sim tu kuna watu kama sisi itabidi tu <laughs> so save jamani <laughs> sisi independent women itabidi tu save <laughs> kuna watu wanatikiti hapa kuna watu kuna watu kuna tiesk hapa sio kalondo usiwazi sikupe stress but but oh, oh, so um big up to you shiba and of course guys please support shiba uh, at the same time tuongee kidogo tu kuhusu hamisa mobeto hamisa amesema that every time anakuwa kwenye relationship anatoka all her exes wame come back kum beg to go back to her wamekuwa wakimsumbua yani ana feel it's bad luck ana feel it's not something nice na anasema inamkera sana when her exes come back to her yani na maisha if it never hap, it it wasn't supposed to happen mm. it didn't happen so you don't have to come back so kwa hiyo inamkera sana diamond kim ina maisha diamond anamtafuta 
eh ako na ex ako na majizo ila, kama ila, ex ila 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 diamond hawajai kudate na miss <laughs> si liko si sasa si liko hao <laughs> kwa na date <laughs> atuwezi sema ilikuwa cheating pia sisi hatukuwa kwa sababu huo wakati nakumbuka diamond alikuwa na mdate zari zari yes afu tukashtukia amemzaa mama kijacho na ndo ndo wanaume nyinyi kwa sababu sasa itakuwa maybe atasema akitaka anaweza sema alikuwa na date wote wawili at the same time diamond au hata wanawake wana hizo tabia kwa sababu huyu pia ni mwanamke ambaye ana cheat naye. Acha nimalize. Yaani leo sitakwenda. Leo yaani siezi shida. Ila ila nime nimesikia nime watu wengi ambao wanakuaga na hilo swala. Mhm. Wanataka wana sana na maexes. Mm. Ken Kevin Elvis, Kevin Elvis my exes wake wako all over on on wana msumbua sana. lakini it's it's okay it's it's natural and that's okay. Um, Same kitu. Kaligrafia amekupost. Ah tumalize na hiyo ya Kaligraph Jones. Sasa hivi juzi ni mwana umekuwa kwenye interview presenter Ali. Na ukasema kwamba Kaligraph anakukera sana wakati kwenye interview ana kujibugu kama attack and stuff vitu kama vile. Na leo amekupost kwenye mtandao wake Instagram right now usiku huu na akasema kwamba kama unataka interview naye mtafute lakini ulisema wewe utawahi kumfanyia inakuwaje sasa ah uh, mimi niseme tu hivi na nitarudia mm. nilichosema kwenye interview mimi mm. ni shabiki wake sana mm. na mimi ni mtu ambaye naheshimu kitu ambacho nakifanya sana kwa hiyo ikifikia mahali naona mtu kama ana kidharau mimi mm. nampotezea kwa hiyo na hisi kama anataka interview kwa sababu ametoa ngoma mm-hmm. ila simpi <laughs> Lakini na hisi pia wewe um, presenter Ali una catch my feelings haraka sana kwa sababu tumekuwa kwenye press conferences pia na wewe uh-huh. na calligraph pia hata mimi nikimuuliza swali uh-huh. unaweza ona venye anajibu uh-huh. anajibu lakini kwenye private uh-huh. one on one uh-huh. ako very cool come and collected asa, asa, and very tofauti yangu, and very nice tofauti, tofauti yangu na wewe uh-huh. ni kwamba mimi nakuaga na calligraph tu kwenye press conference atunaga private one on one <laughs> lakini kwenye press conferences venye uh, president ali anasema ni kama anakuanga zile ah uh-uh, usiniulize hiyo swali hivyo venye anakujanga out to be na hivyo ndo wewe nikai nakukea ah, unajua mm-hmm. at some point mimi hata i carry mm-hmm. ati kwa sababu anaongea hivyo mm-hmm ama pengine ni personality yake it's okay ila mimi ninachosema ni hivi nikifika mahali nione kwamba naisi kama unadharau kitu ambacho nakifanya kwa hivyo utamfanyia interview mfanye eh it's unatenda kampo tu DJ anataka ku grow up coming nini yeye hakuja na DJ yake alibasho DJ yani mpaka kabuyu akatoka nakumbuka hiyo story mm, way back you see what happens yeah. ni uh, kitu ambacho pengine mimi naweza nikasema na kama ataiona hii interview aichukulie yani positively mm-hmm. sababu mimi am all about positivity you know mm-hmm. kwa hiyo calligraph ajue kutofautisha mm-hmm. kati ya mashabiki zake na watu ambao wako level moja kikazi. Sisemi nipo level moja eti kama msanii. Sema tu yake inataka sawa. Yake industry. Ajue yeah, yeah. watu kwamba hao ni mashabiki na hao ni watu ambao wanasaidia industry kuisukuma kwenye upande huu yes. sema. Yaani yes. tunahitaji ni viungo. Yaani usi usiniangalie usi, usi hivi yeah. afu ni kama viungo. Shabiki fulani hivi ambaye amekuja amekuja udako. No, yeah, yeah. Ipo kazi. <laughs> kazi. Ipo kazi. Yeah. Kwa hiyo kama anataka interview. Apologize. Tafikiria acha nifikirie sasa sasa kabisa mtazamaji hiyo nimekuwa ni dondoo tumekuwa na presenter Ali kabla ya